new face to desert living, author and youth advocate Mr. Michael J. Bowler is here to tell us about his book and what inspired him to write it. And he's got a fascinating story. We're talking about Children of the Night right there. And uh, he's here to encourage all of us to A, volunteer, and B, pick up his book. How you doing? I'm doing great, Brian. Thank you for having me. Today. Yeah, we had a chance to chat. I got a little more understanding exactly as to what you do and why you're here. And so I'm excited for you to share your story with the viewers. What inspired you to write this book? Well, I've spent most of my life working with youth, children and teens, uh, in advocacy roles as a teacher, as a volunteer, especially with some of our more marginalized kids, the ones that are get locked up in juvenile hall, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the kind of kids that most people don't want to hear about. And so I wanted to, people to know that these are some of the most amazing children I've ever known in my life. And, and teenagers, they're incredible. And good people, really big hearts. They find hope where there is no hope, and they find it anyway. And they, st if you give them a little bit of love, they just bloom, and yep. it, it's amazing. Yep. So I wanted to share some of those kids in this book and in the series. So elaborate on that. So talk about some of the stories that are inside of this book. Well, there, there's stories of kids that have, uh, you know, they've been kicked out of the homes for being gay, literally had to live on the street. I've met a lot of those kids. Uh, they were orphaned. They've been in, in, in group homes and foster homes, one after another, that were abusive, mm -hmm. and they had to run away. I mean, I know seven-year-olds have been locked up because they were running away from these kinds of homes and kids that were in gangs didn't really want to be in gangs but they had no choices in their neighborhood they were just you know that was it there was no nothing to do there mm -hmm. so I wanted those kind of kids to be front and center in this book mm -hmm. so that they could not only see themselves but other people could see them too this is volunteerism on a different platform I mean you really are paying it forward and doing your part there's no doubt about that. Do you agree? Well, I, I do what I can. You know, there's that old saying, you always hear people say, someone should do something about this. Mm -hmm. And I realized a long time ago when I was a teenager, I'm someone, mm -hmm. and I can do something about some of these things. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, but I can do something about some of them, and so I do. Yeah, beautifully. Yeah. You're definitely doing your part. Yeah. Uh, is it my understanding that you're adopting a, a, a kid? Yes, that's always been kind of a big passion of mine. I, and again, when I, I met a seven-year-old at Juvenile Hall many, many years ago when I was much younger, when I first started who needed a home he had no home and he was in that and I and I really would like to have adopted him but I was young and I was working far away and I, I couldn't do it mm -hmm. so it's always been a passion to do that I feel it's one of the best things people can do mm -hmm. there are so many children that need a home so that the process is extremely it can be complicated and and disheartening for a lot of people that's mm -hmm. why it's difficult I wish we we need to streamline it like so many other things in this country mm -hmm. but uh, the boy that I have is absolutely a gift from God mm -hmm. he is a blessing in my life I, I the best decision I've ever made I love it all right yeah. Yeah. Wow you are just uh, really interesting and I'm really glad you took the time to come down uh, this book is here read this book to inspire you to do your part as far as volunteering is concerned uh, myself I'm a big brother that's my contribution I am also. Oh, of course you are. I'm trying to be you and I grow up. I really appreciate you being here. And uh, make sure to pick up this book, Amazon.com, obviously, and uh, to get your hands on that book or follow the link listed below. A big thanks to Michael J. Bowler for being here today, and a big thanks to you. Grab this book. I'll grab you after the break. Mm -hmm.